Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Friday, no games this weekend, but it's just a matter of time before we see our team, our players, our beloved players on the field kicking the ball versus another team. Wait for it, it is arriving sooner than you think. Wait, just wait for it. But guys, today we have a lot of things to speak. Cristiano Ronaldo took a decision, Chiellini about his extension as well, Federico Chiesa and all the rumors about him, we will discover that today, but also Arthur, he received yesterday so many criticism because he will have to undergo a surgery, I will try with my words, with my knowledge, because I speak with a few people, to explain you why he didn't deserve all that criticism, but first of all, before starting the video, put a maximum of like, yesterday you were so many to put a like you were so many to watch the video thank you for that subscribe to the channel and if you didn't yet seriously guy i tell you as a friend download one football link into the description because it's the best app to remain up to date with all the news yesterday i was watching a movie with my family what do i receive notification from what football about arthur this morning i was working i had a first meeting before taking my break and uh record that video i receive another one Kellini guys do it just download it for free I will not even speak too much about it because we have to start with Tutto Sport who is saying incedibile incedibile means we will not sell untouchable don't touch our boy who are they speaking about you already know because you saw the front page it is Federico Chiesa the man of the moment our star boy that actually became nationally on in Italy famous with Juventus last year after his year with Fiorentina consecration year for him but also on an international level with Italy guys they are on him we know they are on him but Juventus said no no don't touch our bar the same word that we were saying yesterday so who wants to buy a Chiesa we have a lot of club we have Chelsea we have Manchester City Liverpool Bayern Munich they are all hot on the player Juventus said again another time don't touch our boy put it in the comments put the same thing in the comments so that Juventus when they will watch the video when they will read the comment they will understand that nobody has to touch our boy so put don't touch our boy that's what I want to see guys we continue because today we have a lot of news huh? and we start with Arthur Arthur yesterday won football I told you I received the notification they said Juventus midfielder Arthur to undergo surgery and could be out for two months that was the notification I received and then another one from Gazzetta dello Sport Juventus domani Arthur si opera a Torino domani tomorrow but they are speaking about it was actually yesterday so today Arthur will undergo a surgery in Torino guys I will try to explain because a lot of people were saying yes but it's actually uh, Arthur's responsibility why didn't do he do the surgery before everything started actually in January contrast with Romero our ex-player the one from Atalanta that really went really hard uh, hard on Arthur in a contrast from that moment Arthur was injury he has calcification in his leg okay right leg and that's a problem a problem because he could already think about doing a surgery at that time Juventus was waiting because you have actually two kinds of um, calcification the hot and the cold calcification at the moment Arthur at that time he had a hot calcification hot calcification you can't do a surgery at that time it's always really difficult to take that decision because we know that from the moment that you do these kind of surgeries you will be out for two months three months and do you, then you need a re-education program last year we know that we were fighting for so many uh, objectives we were there we had to fight we had a moment of difficulty and Arthur he decided to stay and to fight with his team suffering playing sometimes with pain in his legs now uh, during the vacation they couldn't go for surgery again I explain you hot calcification where you had to wait he came back yesterday did the test and they discovered yesterday that finally the calcification became cold so from hot to cold now they can go and they can do it guys um, we will miss him we will miss him for a certain time he will be back like Giovanni Albanese said uh, uh, end of August training 
with the team he had no preseason that means that probably he will miss September and maybe even October Juventus is already thinking to put him out of the Champions League list of players if he will miss so many games and they are also thinking about another player in the midfield more and on top of Locatelli I just want to say one thing speedy recovery Arthur because you were not lucky you are a player with a lot of talent and for the people that are really negative and mocking I just want to say another thing on that subject guys it is not funny these guys did footballers they sacrificed all their youth because instead of going out with friends and so on they were training to arrive at a top level they went away from family so there is no single player on earth that will think about his holiday before really starting playing and be there for the preseason with the team it is what it is guys it is my boy prefer player or not who cares but he is with Juventus and I will support him so speedy recovery now that I said that I will rush with the other news because it's probably a longer video Corriere dello Sport is saying c'è da stare allegri we have to be happy we have to be really happy and satisfied because we see Allegri back with a big smile at Juventus look at that he's observing with a beautiful training kit I need to buy that one by the way the beautiful thing as well is that Allegri he was not alone he was surrounded by Arriva Ben a really important figure I will explain also later why Nedved was there Cherubini was there the management is there in the first day to support Allegri and the team guys there were some words yesterday and we will listen to them these were the first words that Allegri said they are in Italian I will translate them enthusiasm desire to work and let's play football these are the three words that Allegri started the training session with that's the objective for this season enthusiasm let's go back to enthusiasm please because without enthusiasm you can't perform after enthusiasm the desire to work because it's not because you are happy that you will uh, um, take your targets and you will attain your dreams that's not possible so we have to work hard and let's play football let's play football in another way a new way for Allegri because the five subs are confirmed and also the calendar of Serie A are different so Allegri since that he's coming back coming back he will see actually a total different Serie A let's support him that will be beautiful I can't wait Dybala and co adesso Allegri vi sistema from now on Allegri with find a spot for Dybala and for all his friends because a lot of people are asking how will Allegri play at today I have no answers we went back with Tuto Sport to see actually how Allegri played and in the first season he played with a 4-3-1-2 then a 3-5-2 a 4-2-3-1 4-3-3, 4-3-1-2. So he can play every single position. The only thing he's saying uh, is prefer a four-man back defensive line. But if he had a Barzagli, Chiellini and Bonucci, he even can play with three. Will De Ligt be the Barzagli of the situation? We will discover that really soon with the friendlies. Another really nice news, Cristiano Ronaldo coming back really soon. Because one football yesterday, notification on the phone, Cristiano Ronaldo makes Juventus this. Decision. He made a decision. What is that decision? Gazzetta dello Sport is putting it on the front page. Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7, arrivo e resto. I will arrive and I will stay. See, you remember the first thing three years ago? He used to a key. He's saying actually the same. I come and I will stay. So he's thinking actually maybe even with Jorge Mendes, his agent, to stay for one more year. So instead of just a last year, extend for one more year, maybe spend split a bit his really high salary and try to go for all the objectives of Juventus we are waiting for that news that will be really beautiful Juventus is really close close to extend uh, Chiellini for one more year I can't wait for that but it's not the only thing on the agenda because also Locatelli is a priority apparently the rumors are saying that today there will be a new meeting the second big meeting with maybe an official proposal for Sassuolo this time will we meet the request of Sassuolo yes or not we will discover them really soon but let's see it will be today and Carubini will not be alone there will also be Arriva Ben 
Arriva Bene, it's a really important figure. I already told you. Now the things are going serious. Arriva Bene he will not go with Querebini to Sassuolo just to speak about uh, whatever player. No, he's going with Cherubini because Locatelli is one of our priority. If you can't wait to see Locatelli, look at the design, the Photoshop edition again from Emil MPG Juve edits. Look at that. You can already dream about Locatelli in Juventus training kit. Tottenham and Everton, again, one football. They are telling us that 35 million pounds has to be paid for uh, Mary Demiral. I already told you 35, 40 million euro, but now we already know the teams that are interested. The Premier League is on the player Tottenham and Everton. There are small chances to see him again with Juve next year. One that maybe has small chances is Florenzi, the player from Roma that were, was actually on loan to Valencia and then to Paris Saint-Germain, could be an option. The only thing I'm asking asking myself is we have already Danilo, we have Quadrado, we have De Chilio that is back. Do we need another right back? Yes or no. But Juventus is looking. That means that if they go for him, probably some players will leave. Gabriel Jesus, Juventus is insisting they want him. Will that be possible or not? Manchester City, they want to sell him. Why? Because their targets are Kane, Harry Kane and also Grealish. So they need the money to buy a new striker. Gabriel Jesus, a target for Juventus, yes or no? I'm curious to see what you think about him as a fourth striker rotating with Dybala, with uh, Morata, not with Ronaldo, because Ronaldo, he stays where he is. Giovanni Albanese is also speaking about a player that can leave, and it is Felix Correa, because he was that exceptional in the third division with under 23 that Juventus wants to loan him to a Serie A team or at least a Premier uh, League team not in England but you know a, a first league team so that he can gain even more experience can be good a year on loan for him guys two last news the one of Luis Alberto Luis Alberto is back at Lazio he said sorry to everyone because he was not there the first day uh, that's what he said uh, so the the news for uh, you, Luis Alberto to Juve forget about it there was one team that was interested in him and it was Milan not Juve so we forget from now on about Luis Alberto and then Mbappé Mbappé is waiting for a Real Madrid he really wants to go but he's waiting until the 31st of July for Real Madrid to take actually a step in the direction of signing him already this season otherwise he will remain at PSG with all the players they have I think they have eight or nine goalkeepers crazy guys I hope you enjoyed that video. Today I had the green shirt, the green shirt with the Pirlo on the back. Never forget our legends. Never forget the, the trainer that actually brought us Coppa Italia, Super Coppa, and brought us to the um, qualification in Champions League. That's why I love my shirt. As always, like, subscribe, put the notification ring on, comment whatever you want. Forza, Juve.